Hello everyone, Kendall Tyson here, your traveling therapist, coming to you with this week's expat affirmation. Um, it is the beginning of one of my favorite months of the year, February, where we intentionally celebrate some of the lasting um, achievements and enhancements to the world by some very prominent black Americans. Some you may know, some you may not. Um, but I definitely want to say that black history should be celebrated every day because it is American history. Um, it cannot be extrapolated from the main. Uh, so I want to make that very clear. But um, yeah, just in the, in the theme of new beginnings and starting new on um, the second day of February. Um, I hope that you are feeling well. I hope that things are going well in your life, that you have set your intentions for this new month, um, and that February is really good to you, and that you are good to yourself. So here is this week's affirmation. I'm going to steal myself, get grounded, uh, change my scenery a little bit, got my green, my, ba my plant babies behind me. Uh, <laughs> And um, yeah, it's early, early, early morning here um, in Beijing. So I think this affirmation is very apropos. Here we go. With each sunrise, I bathe myself in optimism and limitless opportunity. And with each sunset, I rest in the bosom of accomplishment, release, and restoration. Yeah that good old spectrum of self-care, right? Optimism and self-care. I'll read it one more time. With each sunrise, I bathe myself in optimism and limitless opportunity. And with each sunset, I rest in the bosom of accomplishment, release, and restoration. I want you just to close your eyes for a second and imagine the sun coming up over the horizon and that there is this glow that you're bathed in that is imbibing you with optimism, opportunity, um, confidence that you wade in these things as the sun rises and shines and gives life to all the new things of the day, you yourself included. Um, just take it all in, soak it all in, breathe it all in. Um, and as you complete your day, I want you to sit in a space where you tend to reflect. And I want you to think of what have you been able to accomplish for that day, right? What would you consider to be a success? I want you to let go of the things that you noticed you felt more attached to that may not have been beneficial. Um, during that day. And I want you to recognize that through your sleep, through your resting, because you know, rest is essential to excellence, that you restore yourself, you rejuvenate yourself, and you prepare for the following day. All these things are intentional to help you to continue to be the healthiest version of yourself. Um, and once you can do that with more intention and more consistently, I believe that you will begin to notice, you know, the changes not only in yourself, but in your life as well. So I'll read this affirmation one more time. I really like it. I think it's a really good one to begin a month, right? <sighs> With each sunrise, I bathe myself in optimism and opportunity. Yes, it's a brand new day to do things new. Um, and with each sunset, I rest in the bosom of accomplishment, release, and restoration. Mm, I love it. Um, I'm not going to hold you long. I hope that this affirmation provided some sort of value for you, sparked something for you to think about and focus on, and that you added to your bank of affirmative words to help you to change your thinking, change your mind, change your life. And as always, I thank you for engaging, sharing, offering your comments, sharing how these affirmations um, are feeding your soul. Um, really grateful for all of your support. So again, follow us on the Black Expat Experience, um, Aspire Counseling Well, my therapy practice. And yeah, let us know what you'd like to hear about, you know, what kind of affirmations really work for you. 
Um, and with that, I will say have an outstanding day. I'm about to get mine started. Well, mine's already started. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking for what I'm optimistic about the opportunities ahead of me as soon as I walk out this door. <laughs> so you all be well, uh, be kind to yourself, and as always, prioritize your mental health. Until next time.